Only a small handful of people come to mind when you think of scientists that revolutionized multiple fields of science. This video will explore the achievements of one of them, Michael Faraday. Faraday began as an assistant to Humphrey Davy, who some may recall has many major accomplishments of his own, including the discovery and isolation of several metals. Faraday's initial work was with chlorine. He succeeded in liquefying the gas and synthesizing new carbon-chlorine compounds. Faraday also discovered benzene, one of the most important organic molecules today. He discovered the laws of electrolysis, revolutionizing the field of electrochemistry. Faraday, however, is best known for his contributions to physics in the field of electromagnetism. He was one of the first to demonstrate an electric motor which converted electrical energy to mechanical energy. His big breakthrough came when he wound two insulated coils around an iron ring and passed a current through one of them. He observed that a momentary current was induced in the other coil. This is today known as mutual induction. He found in later experiments that running a magnet through a loop of wire induced a current in the wire as well. The same occurred if a loop of wire was moved around a stationary magnet. He concluded that a changing magnetic field produces an electric field, which was later modeled mathematically by James Clerk Maxwell and became Faraday's Law, one of the four Maxwell equations, which in turn evolved into field theory. Faraday used the principles he discovered to produce the electric dynamo, the ancestors of modern power generators. In 1845, Faraday determined that many materials exhibit a repulsion to an electromagnetic field. He also discovered that he could polarize light and thus affects it with a magnetic field. With his ice pail experiment, Faraday showed that charge resides only on the exterior of a charged conductor since the fields inside cancel and are thus insulated. The phenomenon is today known as Faraday's cage. Contrary to the belief at the time, Faraday correctly proposed that all types of electricity and magnetism were variations of the same thing. Education was also one of Faraday's passions, and he started the tradition of Christmas lectures at the Royal Institution, which continue today and have featured great scientists such as himself, Carl Sagan, and Richard Dawkins. When I saw Neil deGrasse Tyson last year, he made the comments that today a third of the world's GDP is traceable to Faraday. Not too many people can have that claim.